today we're going to talk about MILFs and MILFs exclusively. <laughs> so apparently there's this new show out there where, um, Jared, have you heard of this show? I, I have heard of this show. Were it's, you going to tell me at the start of the show, but I kind of stole your thunder? Tell me about it, bud. No, I wasn't going to tell you. You were asking me what we could start the episode with, and I said, what about the MILF show that's on TLC? Okay, well, tell me about it. Be enthusiastic, right? Okay. Don't bore the people. Uh I forget exactly what it's called, but basically, let's let's just call it MILF Island. I don't know if that's what it's called, but so TLC came out is with that their different than Epstein's, or it is different, a little than, bit different. from Epstein's. Okay, okay, These okay. women are much older. Gotcha. Um, so it, TLC came out with another dating show. You know, they have like a thousand versions of Ninety Day Fiance and stuff like that, but now they came out with their own to compete with like F Boy Island and Too Hot to Handle, and it's a show where they get. Um, older women. Sign me up. Okay. Okay. So you're you're already on board. They they all have children. So in this case, they would be considered milfs, um, as you would. And then not derogatory, right? Not derogatory. No, no, no. no women no. love that term. A hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. Everyone who doesn't want to. Every be? woman loves that term. Yeah. And we don't like to lump all women together, except for when mm -hmm. we talk about voting, uh -huh. abortion rights, mm -hmm. and milfs. Okay. So they get brought to this house in Mexico and there's this big surprise revealed that's going to happen. Um, and so they, they line all the women up and they're standing across this, uh, like this white, uh, it's not a curtain. It's like a background, whatever. And then they can see the silhouettes of all the men that they're going to be dating. Right. It's this dramatic moment. They pull the curtains away. And then the big reveal is that all the younger men that they're going to be dating is each of their sons. Oh, so it's like an incest show. No. Well, <laughs> it's not Could exactly. Could you potentially date your son if you wanted to on the show? Uh, yeah. So it's potentially I, an I don't think show. anyone was thinking that, though. That's I think immediately that's what, what I thought of. That's concerning that that's immediately what you thought of. Depends on how hot your mom is, am I right? No, that's actually a pretty phenomenal show. I, I don't know who pitched that because I know some exec <laughs> is like, <laughs> Let's make it right now. Somebody Go get the women. I just love the fact that there is there is a board meeting at TLC, and did, they're all trying to come up with the next best thing. Did the sons know? No, the sons. Oh, did. they didn't know they'd be no, dating the each other's moms. No, either. Did they know they're going to be dating milfs? Yeah, yeah. Okay. They knew they were going for older women. So like both of them knew that like the sons knew they were going for older. The women knew they were going for younger. We got to get Matt Rife on that show. He's always liked older. Oh, that would be iconic. He would kill that show. But it was like. <laughs> The show is ridiculous. Like, I love the pull away because just all of their faces drop. Like, everyone's so excited. They're like, we're in Mexico for, I don't know how long they film the show. And it's just going to be, it's not like uh, too hot to handle where they can't have sex. Like, it's actively encouraged here. And then they all just see their sons. The sons all see their moms. And there's a few personalities on there. There's only two episodes out right mm -hmm. now. There's a few personalities on there that really steal the show. There's this mother and son who, uh, he's the youngest kid on the show. I think he's like, like 14 20 or like 21 Fact or check, maybe 14. just, he's not 14. Well, the Island, the, um, that's your consent slower. Thinking, what, what Island? I don't know. They're in Mexico. They're not like on an Island. Everything is an Island. If you zoom out enough, <laughs> you know what I mean, <laughs> all right. So she, is very um, sex positive and sexually but is she forward. HIV positive. No, she's not okay, HIV good. positive. Uh, very sexually forward. And on the first episode, she like finds this guy, and they're all drinking. You know, they're having fun. Oh, I forgot to say that in the house, um, all the moms and sons have to share a room together. Like their mom and son. The mom and son I mean, have to share. That's promoting incest. You're asking me. It's not promoting it's incest. Game of Thrones Island. <laughs> it's not Game of Thrones. Would you Island. hook up? I'm just starting to think. If you were on that show and I was having to be on that show, would you try to bag my mother? No, I have too much respect for Miss Gina. So you don't think my mom's attractive enough? That's not what I said. Oh wait, here, here, here are the moms. These are the okay, moms. Top so, left mom called it. No, okay, top left. That's the one with the youngest son. That's like very sexually forward. And so the first night, four hours into like everyone, like the big reveal, she finds this guy and they're, they're all, it's her, the new guy and her son, they're all at the bar. And she's like hanging on this other guy. And she looks at, <laughs> she looks at her son and goes, this is your new dad. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious so there is there's that moment that was really funny and then on the second episode they play a oh, game you're in deep yeah they play a game so are these sons where they they, they get assigned to like go there's 
all separate ways and they write their like deepest, darkest, like sexual s- secret. Right. Okay. And they're not told what it's for. And it ended up being you had for, a breath, you right? huh? No, just like you're out of breath. Okay. You know, I can't breathe. And that's no, no, no. Subject. I was making sure you weren't going to pass out. And that's actually being a good friend. Being a bad friend was like, thank you. <laughs> all right. A little piggy. Once you breathe out your nose sometime. All right. Now that's mean. Me. I checked in on you. That's so disrespectful. I have an inhaler on me at all times because of you. Okay. Keep going. Thank you. So they take, <laughs> fuck off. Why do you feel like you just like walked a flight of stairs? <laughs> Cause I can't breathe. Okay, my lungs okay, okay. are shit. My nose is shit. I understand. I'm just like, what is the top of the empire state building view look like? Cause I feel like you've been there recently. <laughs> Okay. So anyway, so they, they take these secrets and they put them on a board and it's all anonymous. Right. And then the mothers and sons have to, they, they look at the board and they have to guess Mm -hmm. who, whose secret it is. And, um, there's a, there's a couple of them where it was like, I had sex with a stranger at a Michelin star restaurant or whatever, you know, like I had sex on a beach. We get it. You got money. And (laughs) And like these kids are just like, well, yeah, my mom goes to the beach a lot, you know, like he specified nude beaches. One of them was one of the secrets was I slept with my son's best friend. And so everyone, so then they all come together and they're all like trying to guess who's who. And that's the last one that's left is I slept with my son's best friend. And so when it gets revealed, the son is just man. I wish that was your mom's secret. Destroyed. What? No, keep going. Did you just say you want to sleep with my mom? First of all, gross. Second of all, of I'm, course. You're keep going. <laughs> so it gets revealed. Just absolutely destroys the son. It would. And he gets shit faced after that, just drinking away his sorrows and gets butt ass naked and starts swimming in the pool. And his mom has to go out there and is like, can we just come <laughs> to the room and talk about this? He's like, no, you don't understand. You don't understand. Some people can't handle the realness. <laughs> and he's just like, he gets so, so she eventually just goes back to the room. She starts crying. You know, she's like, I, don't know why I even said this, you know, and he, he's just still butt ass naked in the pool. And he's like, I just, yeah, life happens, you know, it does happen. Like, sometimes you can't handle it. And and when, when life happens, you got to get completely nude and get yourself in, in the closest pool, yeah. closest body of water. That's not a bathtub. Uh-huh. I've been saying that for years. You have been saying that for years. I've heard that, that for years. 